Singlish nicely shows what happens when languages come into contact with one another. It is not particularly unusual when compared to other contact languages, but it is unique in terms of the languages that are involved, and also in the way in which it is widespread in the population. Actually, the multilingualism in Singapore makes it an interesting case study. The fact that English is in continuing contact with other languages, and not just the mother tongues, uh, means that there is no end to potential changes in the contact language, Singlish, which makes it so interesting for both uh, researchers and students. If I had to pick a favourite Singlish word, it would be la. Not because it is so stereotypical, but because Singaporeans themselves seem to assign a lot of significance to it beyond its actual meaning in a sentence. It's almost become a symbol of Singlish and Singapore itself. You can see it on t-shirts, caps, and even on a large float during the SG50 NDP. So it goes to show that la has a lot of non-linguistic meaning in Singapore.